Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna be looking at some memory last week I was so lucky to receive a surprise package from Christoph in Germany Vielen Dank für the I can't say package in German no it's gone but Christoph sent me a surprise package and it has two CPUs you saw that in an earlier video and he sent me a bunch of memory 12 blocks of memory 10 of those were 2 gigabytes and 2 was 1 gigabyte but when I took the memory blocks out of the big bag that they were contained in these 1 gigabyte blocks they were missing capacitors therefore I've put them in this bag and with the capacitors I must admit I will be throwing these out because there are missing capacitors there is some of them are here but some is missing and well I don't want to I don't want to mess with this this is um, they are too far gone I got four of these blocks and they are clearly from HP servers HP stamps on here and they're each two gigabyte blocks and I'm gonna be testing those in my IBM servers and then there is six of these I've never seen a memory block like that but apparently that's a block you can just see the numbers focus on that guess it will I was gonna play with these put those in but then I found well now that the other the one gigabyte was like dusting of capacitors I checked the these as well and this one is a bit dodgy because let's see where it is if you see the capacitor there at my finger it's not supposed to be up there it's supposed to be down there further down I'll go down and see if I can solder that in place or maybe just even just use my heat gun and just tap it along with something so let's do that okay I've, I've moved down into the basement and here you can just see it's that capacitor right there supposed to be down down here but it has moved up there and it might be short-circuiting some of these little taps that are there so I'll try and do the soldering use the soldering iron to remove it and re put some solder on there and put it back in it's gonna be a tiny job I have a, I have a little magnifying glass here there it is it's like it has flipped over maybe I should just try and flip it back and re-solder it I had turned on the soldering iron and I just realized this tip might be a, a bit too big so I'll go for a smaller one I just looked at it in the magnifying glass and it has tipped over I can see that so I need to tip it back and solder it in place and I'm gonna try and take these pliers see if I can if I can move it a little bit Oh, it's very loose. There. And I just need to wait for the soldering iron. I already forgot which one it was. That one. That one is good. Okay. Good. And this is the soldering tip. It is considerably smaller than the other one. I have never tried this. So um, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it didn't work. So let's just try that. Okay, and it just took it off. Damn. I had to move the camera a little further away because it was in my way. And I have a chair and I'm sitting comfortably instead of leaning over the camera. I'm holding the capacitor with the pliers and I'm just applying a little bit of solder and heating it up. 
now it's on there. I'll just have a look and see if it's anything that looks like it has a connection. It doesn't look good. If you've ever wondered why memory blocks does not come in um, DUI kits, it's because it's damn hard to, to solder this shit. This is my finger. It's huge compared to that little, and that's one of the big ones. Uh, if this was one of the ones that has fallen off, it would be more or less impossible to fix that. And this one was hard enough. I do think it has a good connection, actually. Um, it, it doesn't feel as nice as the other ones, though. But I, I think it's in there. Okay, I have been readying a server here on the living room table. And this is not my best server. It's just an old server. And it's, it's a, well, it, it is my favorite model, but it's a, it's a small one. It has, an, it has a slow CPU and it has only two gigs of memory. So we're just gonna be testing in this. And these block sizes are actually only 512 megabytes. So I just wanted to hear it and now I'm gonna turn it off again. I'm going to get rid of the memory that is already in here. That's the blocks that are in here. Very nice IBM memory though. And we're going to take this <laughs> block that I just soldered and put that in. Put that in number one. And I have another one. And that goes in number four. And that looks like that. There is block one and block four. And that's according to how you are supposed to be putting in these memory blocks that is on the box of the system right there. So let's apply some power and try and boot. I think actually I'll I'll put in these cover things just to make sure that. And we'll go around to the front and turn on the server. Right there. Let's see if it picks up. There we are. One processor, two gigahertz. There we are. Oh, two gigabytes. So it only sees one of them. Hmm. I would be guessing that's probably the second one it sees. But let's see if it complains about anything before it starts booting. Uh, nothing yet. Oh, yeah, this server has a bigger RAID. It has, it has six disks, 300 gigabyte disks, so it takes a fair amount of time to, to check that. No, it should have complained it was if it was going to complain more. So we're gonna, I'm going to turn it off and, and try and mingle a little bit more with the memory configuration. Okay, I've taken out the block that I just soldered, so now I'm gonna power it on. It is a bit noisy when it starts. So, let's see what it comes up with. Well, now it doesn't work at all. It's complaining down here. Just lighting up there. Apparently my memory block, the soldered one, was the good one. Okay, I mingled a bit more around with the memory and well, now it's, it looks like it's going to be booting and as I said that, something popped up on the screen. Now the memory block that I have been soldering on is uh, in slot number 4 and one of the other ones is in slot number 1. So it's going to be exciting to see if, if that will work. 
two gigabytes of memory. It should be full, right? Okay, I've, I've tried, I've tried different configurations here, and I, I think I've come to the conclusion that these memory blocks is not good for this server. Now it's counting six gigabytes, and that's because I put in some of the other blocks. These with the cover. These guys over here, they do not, they do not give me the two gigabytes that I would be expecting. So uh, sadly, my good old IBM server is, is not compatible with this PC 24200F 444 11 RAM something. This is a lot of numbers. I tried to Google this and I couldn't find which servers they were supposed to go in, but. I tried the other ones, these with the silver casing, and they work just fine in the IBM server in there. And that was the first four gigabytes you saw. And when I put in two of the other ones, they would only register it as another two gigabytes, even though they should be two gigabytes a piece. So that didn't work. It did kind of work for me to solder on the, the missing capacitor or the broken capacitor. So that's a good thing. But um, I wouldn't use this for any sort of production when I've been tampering with it like that. Please keep that in mind. It's it's butchy as hell. And if if the capacitor is dropping off your memory blocks, get some new ones. This is not good. But I will keep these. I might um, I might run across an older server where these will fit. And they're always good to have them um, laying around in a box somewhere. If, something should come up. Thank you very much to Christian from Germany for sending me all this nice memory. At least now I got another 8 gigabytes of memory to put in my IBMs over here and I am still working on upgrading all of them to be using uh, or to have 24 gigabytes in them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and give me a like if you liked anything. Whatever. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye bye.